The immoralness of men is thinking that they have rights over other people's property and valuables of which they do not have. The illegalness of a woman is that she enters a man's apartment without his true knowledge and she does things to him or gets into locked bags because she's a snoop. She's not a reporter per se, she doesn't have that profession, but she is overtly curious. And who she enters the apartment complex with is usually someone she is socially savvy with. Some sort of ugly maintenance man who wants her. Some sort of girlfriend she's made in an office who feels her plight and her lie. But the truth is the woman who lies against a man of God is still considered by Christ a liar. The woman of vanity who chooses a vain man who is younger than her still remains a cougar. And the woman who plays sex games with her teenage son is still incestuous. You see, it doesn't matter how honest I am about the things that other people do. What matters about <coughs> you is what you take away from the lessons God wants you to. The lesson God wants you to understand is that he has a plan for you. But when you choose against God's plans, you choose a shortened life. You choose difficulty. You choose error. You choose poverty and you choose a lack of celibacy. Too many people chose the wrong partner in the last millennium. And God has sat in judgment of those choices. When you choose the wrong partner, you abuse other people who care for you and sort of let you know that you've made that mistake. When you choose your bad partner, you choose retaliation often that is not a choice for them to make. You see, in the house of God, there are many rooms and many types of people do go to heaven. But the real question for those who are headed to hell is what did you do? How did you take your accountability for what you did? And why should Jesus honor you in the house of God? Most often, the biggest sin that people commit is trying to take over someone else's rights, meaning they want them to listen to them, they want them to put things down for them, they want things to do just for them, while at the same time they're busy making love to someone who's not right for them. The truth of the world is we have rights, and when people dishonor those rights, when they dishonor the concepts of civil rights where black men and white men and black women and white women mainly produce the march for the mobility acts of Rosa Parks and other women who got on the buses saying, we're not going to segregate anymore. Sometimes we might think that segregation is correct because it slows the wars. It reduces the killings. And people have to get how precious life is before they get how precious life is.